so we can get started. All right, so hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kao from AI Web3 and uh, I'm also the ambassador or active contributor <laughs> yeah, in, in Centrifuge. Uh, so today I'm so glad to meet with uh, Martin, Martin from uh, Centrifuge. Right? Thank you, thank so, you for having me. Yeah, so um, Martin, could you please introduce yourself a little bit and maybe a little bit about Centrifuge if you want? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, uh, Thanks again. So yeah, I'm Martin Fenzel, um, co-founder of Centrifuge, and uh, we started Centrifuge in late 2017, uh, early 2018 out of Berlin. Now it's a real international project. People are distributed all over the world, like you, you know. And, and what we what we build it, what we wanted to build at the beginning uh, was really a protocol actually to let real world assets travel on the blockchain in the form of NFTs. Uh, mm. But then we actually kind of developed it further into something which is now an asset management on-chain protocol. So really uh, think of it as uh, a protocol which is able to run a fund where mm. you from asset origination to right. really kind of tokenizing the assets as a pool distributing to investors, they can all do that on-chain. It's really not just focusing on tokenization, it's going far beyond tokenization. It's really also including asset origination, asset management, fund management, investor management, and uh, of course, tokenization. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah, so, so so glad to hear about that. So what brings you here to Hoka Decoded uh, Asia conference? Yeah, I think uh, uh, being built on Polkadot right from the beginning, uh, one of the early projects, I think we won also one of the first auctions. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think we need, really need to revamp the project as it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's one of the best technologies, if not the best technology, <laughs> I am strong but really believing, you know. Nice. And that technology advantage, I think we uh, didn't do the best job in kind of uh, attracting this, this technology advantage, mm -hmm. uh, the right projects and create right. momentum. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I think that's where we need to get better, really presenting right. real-world use cases for uh, the tip of Polkadot as an ecosystem and nice. grow it, you know. And also I think the idea of um, building an ecosystem of different application chains where they together building use cases because every chain can communicate to the other. This kind of competitive advantage is something we need to talk about and pre present use cases. That's why I'm also on the panel here today wow. with, with Moonbeam and a few more actually to kind of uh, actually say, hey, the real value of Polkadot is of course the technology, but really that you have those applications running on their own blockchain, mm -hmm. not interfering with the performance and bandwidth of the others, but still being able to operate and build cross-functional, cross-blockchain use cases. Wow, that's mm -hmm. amazing. So glad to hear about that. <laughs> and I heard uh, Syncfuture recently, they also have collaborated with Coinbase with a kind of a... Uh, yeah, we did a fundraise, uh, yeah. which is almost, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I can barely remember anymore. But right. there, there, there we are also, Parafy joining, Coinbase joining, uh, was good enough for the time <laughs> being, you know, we did a little a little earlier than most likely they're, 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 they're DeFi, they're back, you know, so it's like like at the edge of the of the of the of the crypto spring um, and I uh, know we are doing well. Uh, mm -hmm. and I think the, the recent news are um, that we really step more and more into the institutional direction, maybe actually be more and more the infrastructure for institutions to run their, their fund management on chain. And the latest was just the announcement uh, the partnership uh, with Janice Henderson, if you heard of it. Janice Henderson is an US UK based asset manager, uh, who I think top 20, uh, so it's really uh, 380 billion of AUM, um, and with a strong focus on a lot of products we would like to bring on chain. Uh, wow. So, a leader, a leader in ETF and other ETPs, uh, mm -hmm. exchange traded funds, ex exchange of pro products, and we are here believing. Um, that uh, actually one of these things we most likely can eat first if it comes to traditional finance as blockchain is mm -hmm. uh, ETFs. Wow. Um, you know, ETFs, uh, kind of exchange traded funds, had, I think, their moment uh, when um, I think, you know, people have realized how efficient you can mm -hmm. operate that and how efficient you can actually manage uh, assets through an ETF because mm -hmm. you can kind of have an, another abstraction lever and la layer which is instant liquidity and market pricing uh, and bringing that on the blockchain and actually skip uh, the requirement for an ETF in the middle you have the assets here you have the investor there and blockchain is directly kind of connecting it with kind of pooling mm -hmm. building actually the structures to to make it uh, instant liquid uh, and, and uh, create market pricing for it that would be a game changer it's most likely what ETF did for traditional finance and mutual funds something like 
20 mm -hmm. years ago or the last 20 years, I think uh, blockchain can do many more, of course. Right. But I think one of the first use cases uh, how we can disrupt traditional finance is most likely the ETF industry. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you think would be the uh, the next like uh, um, uh, the the next uh, big adoption? What kind of a project or uh, I, I, I do not things. know broadly because there are so many use cases. What right. we're focusing so on, do you think that's a big Yeah, I know what you're focusing on centrifuge is really bringing institutions on, on chain. Mm. So, really creating the demand of traditional asset managers and traditional investors on chain, which is completely missing right now. But that would right. be the momentum we need to kind mm -hmm. of get, get beyond. Uh, actually, the market cap crypto has today, mm -hmm. uh, you know, so that is crypto assets and uh, everything around crypto assets and really real world assets so far is a use case where we tokenize treasury bills, things like that. Mm -hmm. But the capital is already on chain. It's TBL, mm -hmm. which is just traveling from right. crypto asset investments into real world asset investment. What we need to do to grow the pie is really right. get new investors on chain, you know, right. where they basically turn fiat into stable coins and these mm -hmm. stable coins not just invest into crypto but also in the traditional assets you have in the traditional finance industry uh, and That's then so you cool. actually say hey you know today crypto bubble and <laughs> the, the bit should grow you actually yeah. need to leave the bubble and put real world use cases with mm -hmm. real world people as investors with real world people as asset originators and uh, mm -hmm. and, and uh, asset managers on chain you know that is wow. that's our mission yeah, that's yeah that's what, we, what we are focusing on Okay, great. I, I'm going to ask a few short questions you probably can quickly answer. Um, uh, so, yeah, so just in case you have time, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, maybe, <laughs> maybe two more questions. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just some short ones, I think. Uh, yeah, it can be a few. Um, what do you think the, the country or city can be the, uh, the center of the, uh, can be the Web3's next center? I think. That's a wrong assumption. We will not see this one city. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not like you know the times of Silicon Valley and everything oh, is happening there. Yeah, I'm believing it's over, and uh, that's one thing. Right. But on the other hand, also you see that already. There's so many different things going on mm -hmm. in Asia, in the Americas, in right. Europe, even mm -hmm. in Africa, uh, and I think that's how decentralization work, you know, because right. also the teams are international. It's not focusing yeah. anymore. You know, Ethereum was born in Berlin. Right, uh, right. But Berlin is one of the spots in Europe. It's not even the biggest in Europe, you know. And then yeah. what's happening here in Singapore, in China, in Hong Kong, it's just amazing. You know, the Middle great. East, for example, uh, if you look at the, the last token 2049, it's just mm. amazing. You know, so I don't believe that there will be uh, the winner. There will be a lot of winners. Oh, that's right. also, I... It's working for the people. You know, there are a lot of the developers even being in countries where they had issues in the past. You know, look at Vietnam, uh, mm. uh, I think Turkey, uh, Argentina, Surprisingly, countries with one of the highest crypto adoption in the world, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And so, um, if you have the opportunity to have a cup of coffee uh, uh, here at Posa Decoded uh, with some big guy in Web3, who would be the guy? Oh, um, yeah, Gavin. Oh, Gavin? <laughs> Gavin, of course, but anyway, that's awesome. we, we ran into each other already. <laughs> yeah, no, so, um, honestly, uh, I do not know. Um, I, would, I would most likely. Uh, mm -hmm. Lab is actually to have a discussion where right, right. regulators, mm -hmm. uh, bigger financial institutions like mm -hmm. Larry Fink, for example, oh, or nice. someone, someone like him, uh, yeah. uh, would actually join us on the crypto side and have an open conversation of actually how we can do better all together. You know? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Uh, what would be the most exciting things you have for, for this year? Um, it can be with Centrifuge or it can be Polkadot, whatever. I know really from the 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 the, the, uh, the animal centrifuge mm. perspective. I think if we get our TVL to one billion, that oh, is our, nice. our target. <laughs> that is that would be you know the most exciting moment. No, yeah. I, I I think um, the, the 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 moment I'm looking forward to uh, is actually a real world adoption of stable coins. You know, and that mm. I think we are on the on the edge already, almost there. That everyone who has a bank account mm -hmm. has an, uh, no issue with turning mm -hmm. it into stable coins and using right. them on the blockchain. Number mm -hmm. one, but number two, also who has actually unbanked today mm -hmm. has an ability to use blockchain technology uh, and wallet to mm -hmm. kind of have banking services on chain, and that those banking services are really being able to replace what they need in the real world. You know, mm -hmm. paying this crypto yeah. at a shop, for example. And hey, that sounds so strange, but with I, I think Gnosis Pay, for example, and mm -hmm. Visa Card. The other recent example with MasterCard are first examples actually showcasing that this crypto can also kind of you know being, being 
we ha would would be able to access the traditional banking services without the need of a bank account. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so next question: Like, did you have anything like you you want to share about like uh, the the experience of the conference or or, or about Stanger Field? Like any exciting thing you want to share? <laughs> yeah. No, I would. I like to learn more about the plans of big uh, financial institutions when they mm -hmm. go on chain, especially if it's open and permissionless. Uh, and second, uh, on a technology level, I would really learn more about uh, actually. Uh, smart wallets, account abstraction, uh, and those oh. things. I think that is really required for the next wave of adoption. There are mm -hmm. people doing less crypto, you know, from, from Netscape mosaic browsers right. to the first, as bad as it was, Internet Explorer. So something mm -hmm. there, you know, the people just have a computer, start the computer, yeah. and there is access, you know. Mm -hmm. And that was what Internet was, the game changer of the Internet, that the people didn't really need to think about how do I install it, how do I use it, and right. the same, next thing was basically for, for that one the enabler was the internet search. You know, mm -hmm. you didn't know every URL in the early days. You yeah. really had to know the URLs and type type them in. Uh, right. This internet relay okay. chat and whatsoever. It's all <laughs> kind of you know where the people yeah. had the experience they're having today. And I think that is still also still required for crypto and to make it usable, accessible. Wow! Uh, thank wonderful. you. Let me thank you. Okay. Oh, it was a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.